about what I fondly call the big blue band-aid. Ooh, okay. that? You can use the, that phrase. The, the big, the big blue, blue band-aid band like or you know, treatment for erectile dysfunction. Right. I mean, there's a growing number of men that are suffering from it. You told me over half your practice are men under yeah. age 40. Yeah. So rather than the big blue band-aid or the, the little blue pill, what should they be doing? So this is uh, an opportune question just because it is the 20th anniversary of Viagra. It was founded 20 years ago and it revolutionized actually erectile dysfunction. Um, I won't digress a whole lot, but I'll say this. The drug was initially uh, was made to treat uh, cardiovascular disease, and they, it didn't do a good job in that segment, mm -hmm. but men were reporting when they were going back to the researchers that like, this strange thing is happening. Right. And so then they redirected their focus in another area. At the time, the term used for erectile dysfunction was impotence. Mm -hmm. That's not a good word or diagnostic term, for what the problem was. So then they made up the word called erectile mm -hmm. dysfunction to make it an actual diagnosis and have a diagnosis CPT code so that right. you can- Funny you, when you get a drug, how you get a diagnosis. You get a diagnosis, absolutely. <laughs> so then from so then uh, ever since then, we've had several mm -hmm. similar drugs called, uh, the category of drugs is called uh, PD-5 inhibitors. Mm -hmm. So several PD-5 inhibitors, we have um, tenodophil, which is Cialis, and we have Levitra, and so on and so forth. Um, so the thing is this, that it is a Band-Aid, okay? Now, you know, again, I'm agnostic as it relates to practicing medicine. If somebody needs it because I have this date for the first time tonight, I don't trust it. Look, PD-5 inhibitors that include Cialis and Levitra and Viagra are, are great for psychological benefit. I take this pill, I feel confident going into the bedroom. Right. That's fine. You're not treating the cause. And... Uh, the penis is a barometer to a man's health. So if that's not functioning alone without anything, without any pills or any, anything exogenous, then one needs to dig a little bit more. What's really happening? Am I, am I developing plaques in my arteries that can be deadly? Uh, am I not sleeping well? Um, am I so stressed out of my mind that I cannot, you know, too much adrenaline, too much cortisol? All these things are, am I developing diabetes? All these things can trigger and lead to erectile dysfunction. So. It's a Band-Aid, it's a decent Band-Aid. Now, there are side effects that are associated with it. Other than the things that you read online, which is true, flushing of the face, redness of the face, a little blurred vision that some people feel, hearing loss, all kinds of head issues that people feel. Um, with, uh, excuse me, with Cialis, um, one of the main side effects is uh, lower back pain. So I've had patients, that I have this chronic lower back pain, I don't know. I've, well, you're taking Cialis, get them off the Cialis right. and do better. So right. that's another side effect. Other than all those, one of them is, is delayed ejaculation that no one talks about. Delayed ejaculation. It causes some sort of desensitize, desensitization of the head of the penis where now they are not ejaculating. So they're having sex, they're performing, they're not ejaculating. Many men would say, where do I sign up? That's exactly what I want. Now, eventually... Be careful right. what you ask right. for. That's tiresome. That's very frustrating right. for men. It's frustrating for their partners, and it's not a good thing right. at all. So, so that's one of the side effects that very few people talk about. Okay. So how about what what what's the Dr. Gio formula for treatment then? If not, you know, so right. so these are a good helper for building your confidence. But right. how do you also solve the underlying problem? So an erection is formed by either blood flow of the of nerves mm -hmm. or hormones. Those are the three things right. that helps with an erection. Um, blood flow. So we need to make sure that all the proper nutrients are in the system. Arginine, for example, L-arginine is an amino acid. It helps with the production of a gas called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide helps with uh, opening up the arteries. I use something called L-citrulline, which helps with the production of arginine in the body. It's better than even arginine itself. So L-citrulline is a thing found in supplements and Found in watermelon as so well. There, so there's some, some nutrients that you can give to somebody. There are nutrients. So to be sure that their body is functioning at their optimal. Correct. Okay. And then stress. And then stress. Right. So you have to deal with the cause. Right. If there's metabolic, if the blood sugar right. levels are high, if, if right. they're developing a big belly, you have to kind of address right. that. Um, yeah. And then with regards to supplements, are these other things I use at what's called adaptogens in the botanical world or herbal world. Mm -hmm. These are um, herbs that help adapt, help you adapt, mm -hmm. uh, helps with stress. Right. Um, and they've also helped with erectile dysfunction in many countries. Um, so things like um, rhodiola is one of my favorites, in fact. Right. Ashwagandha, uh, uh, this is an herb that comes from India. 
um, and has been shown to help men with erectile dysfunction as well in, in some scientific journals. Um, Siberian ginseng, ginseng as a whole, for the most part, is, is very helpful. So those are, those are the herbs, those are the adaptogens. I'll say one more. Um, epimedium, epimedium known in the street as horny goat weed is not my word, it's not <laughs> my, name, I didn't, it's the trade name, but the, the herb and the plant itself mm -hmm. is epimedium, actually has a chemical in it called icarin, I-C-A-R-R-I-N. Icarin is, okay, keep your seatbelt on, that chemical is a PD-5 inhibitor. Wait a minute, have we heard right. what a PD-5 inhibitor is? Right. Yes, is the same chemical found in Viagra, Cialis, right. and Levitra. So within the plant world, there's this chemical that exists that works very similar to that. Well, drugs come from the plant world. Drugs come from the plant world, precisely. What's different? So what's mm -hmm. different between epimedium and all these drugs? What di what's different is that this chemical is it works synergistically with a hundred other mm -hmm. chemicals in a plant, is not isolated in right. it by itself, so then there's less side effects. You can use the, that herb and a formula that works and have the same uh, response if you get the right dosage in. Bottom line is, uh, you, there's a lot of things you could, do, you could use in a natural world to help men with erectile dysfunction, but you have to address the cause, and the cause can be many things, hormonal, nerves, or cir circulation. All right, treating, treating the person helps treat the disease. That's right. Thank you. My pleasure. If you liked what you just saw, we have a whole lot more with Dr. Gio Espinoza at our website, bottomlineinc.com. And do me a favor, share this, tell your friends. We have so much great information. Come to bottomlineinc.com. Mm -hmm.